Today, we're going to be looking at ESET's new product called Home Security Premium and whether or not it's the right solution for you. Nico knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech, number one channel with the news on deck. So until just over a week ago, if you look to ESET's website, you'd find Nod32, Internet Security, and Smart Security Premium. But they've changed the lineup and added a tier, so now you'll be seeing Home Security Essential, Home Security Premium, and then a new tier called Home Security Ultimate. Okay, sorry about that. But I'm gonna cover a little bit of the differences and why we don't see Nod32 on the branding here. So here's a quick look at the new lineup. We have Essential, Premium, and Ultimate, all under the ESET Home Security moniker. So this is called ESET Home Security Essential, and then Home Security Premium, and etc. Ultimate is the new tier, which we're gonna be covering the whole review on Ultimate in the next couple of days, because I already have the license. And so make sure you're subscribed if you don't wanna miss that one. We are gonna be covering Premium in full detail. This one used to be called Smart Security Premium, is now rebranded to Premium. Essential is what internet security was. And like I said, Nod32 is not here on the lineup, but it is still available. It's a basic antivirus, but very strong antivirus, but doesn't have all the bells and whistles and cybersecurity features such as firewall and intrusion protection system, network attack, all the kind of stuff we're gonna talk about today. Now, after a quick install, this will be the interface that you see. It's nice, sleek, and clean, no nonsense. And I didn't have to enter my license key or anything like that because I did it all through the ESET home account that I have. And, and you guys will have that one too if you decide to purchase a product. You'll be able to manage all of your licenses, all your computers, all through your ESET home all in one place. So since I installed it through my account, I didn't have to enter anything, so it's already set up for me. So right on the front panel here, we have a bunch of panels here. We have anti-theft, safe banking and browsing, network inspector, password manager, and secure data. And there's a couple features right here on the front that separate premium from essential or smart security versus internet security, the previous names. So what premium has, and I'm gonna call it premium from now on, just instead of smart security or home, we're just gonna call it premium because that, that hasn't changed. So. What Premium has right off the bat that Essential doesn't have is a password manager. So literally you can save all your passwords directly into ESET and they'll automatically populate them into websites that you uh, want to log into. So instead of having to memorize passwords, write them down, or God forbid you're saving them to Chrome, which is very, very risky. The main reason people lose accounts and have all their accounts stolen is because they're saving them insecure to a browser such as Chrome, Firefox, you name it. Well, those are unencrypted and they can be accessed by anyone who has control of your system. And if you get a virus, such as a Trojan Stealer, would they instantly, immediately after you click on them, they steal that in an encrypted file and send it to the operator of the Trojan. And then you've lost everything immediately. So you want to use a secure password manager? Well, ESET Premium includes one. Now, secure data, this is particularly good for people on laptops or if you have mission critical data that you don't want stolen um, because this will allow you to encrypt your computer you can encrypt specific folders. You can encrypt flash drives to where if they don't have the password, they can't access it. So if we go over here to secure data, I can enable that. And then it can and I can literally on demand, I can encrypt, I create an encrypted virtual drive. I can encrypt files on a removable drive. So if I create an encrypted virtual drive, I can create like 20 gigabytes or however much space I want to be this secure little container that no one can access even if the computer is stolen. So that's particularly good for people that do business um, or need to protect their data in the event that their drive or their laptop is stolen. <clears throat> Browser and privacy security, we don't need to go into that. Basically, it protects you while you're browsing the internet. Network Inspector is particularly interesting for people that have a lot of things going on in their network, many devices, or if you're in IT, because while this looks like a very simple, clean interface, this is a enterprise level, as far as the technology goes, it's enterprise level. You don't have to know all of that, but if you do, it's here for you. So I can see every device on my network. I can scan it. It'll even let me scan to see if my router is vulnerable. If it's been compromised, it's letting me know right now that there's three new devices. Since I just installed this, it doesn't know everybody on my network. So it's alerting anytime there's a new connection. 
and just so that I know about it. And I don't have to touch anything here, but it's, it's nice to be able to see what we can do. Now, in the setup area, this is where you can see exactly how technically advanced um, ESET products are in particular. And I know this is an honest review, but I do use ESET and I honestly believe in it because of these kinds of types of features. So in the computer protection section here, we have the real-time file system protection. Pretty much everyone has this. Um, it's constantly scanning and subtly in the background, seeing if there's anything going on or if you have uh, some malware on the computer. But it's doing it very low level so that it's not using up system resources. That's another thing I like about, about these products is they don't slow down the computer. You can game on them. You don't have to turn them off or disable them, which is a really bad idea. And we even have a gamer mode right here. Gamer mode, it basically disables those pop-ups or any kind of intrusions because you might be streaming or gaming and you don't want some pop-up coming. So you can turn off some of that while you're gaming. There's not a whole lot there, but if you do want it to never pop up, um, who knows, you might be giving a presentation and you don't want ESET to give you an alert. LiveGuard is a feature that's exclusive to uh, Premium or Ultimate. It's not on Essential, formerly known as Internet Security. <clears throat> what LiveGuard is, is, is a very premium level ESET product where if you download a program and you decide to run it, it's not going to run in its current setting. It's going to send it to ESET immediately and within five to 10 seconds, it will have ran it on ESET's HQ sandboxes, basically a, um, a play field for them to test and see if it breaks anything. If it acts malicious, it'll come back and alert on it. And that's particularly good if it's a never before seen malware that no one's seen before. Well, we, you know, and rather than testing it out on your own system, which a lot of people do, which is so dangerous, ESET's virtual sandboxes will do that for you and it'll block the execution until the program is verified safe. Now, if you don't want that five to 10 second delay every time you download programs, um, then you can say allow execution, but it'll still run it and try to alert to it. Um, but I recommend leaving it here because it's just five to 10 seconds. And here I have the maximum wait time for analysis results anyway, five seconds. You can raise that to, to 50 or 30 if you're really paranoid. But this is an amazing technology because there are, um, there are malware out there that no one's seen before. There's no signature, there's no antivirus that knows that it's a virus and it could get around things theoretically. And there's a whole lot of layers of protection we'll get to to help prevent that. But this is the real only way to tell is having someone else test it for you and someone who knows whether it's bad or not. Now down here we have something called Host Intrusion Prevention System or HIPS. Now whenever you're wondering why I shouldn't just get a basic antivirus or just get NOD32, NOD32 is great. Actually NOD32 is the name for the technology behind ESET's very strong malware scanner. Well. The other features that you get when you get products like Essential or Premium or Ultimate is Host Intrusion Prevention System and of course Firewall. So what HIPS does is it's identifying traffic that's trying to talk to your computer. That's at the host level. Your host is the computer. And it's trying to see if this is malicious traffic, if it's attack traffic from like a hacker or some computer trying to scan you and, and look for weaknesses. That's gonna be detected by HIPS. And this is advanced stuff that you normally would do at a at a, a server level router. And it would be automatically running this on the network, but you also need it running at the computer. And you'll see this in corporate networks. And this is on their uh, enterprise products. But what I like about when you get the essential or the premium or ultimate is you get this feature because this is normally uh, on domains and corporate environments. And that's and that's something that I like that other antivirus companies don't do. They don't in include the enterprise level uh, features. Now, if we go back to setup, we can look at internet protection, which this is all automated. We have parental control, email client. We don't actually have to touch anything here and everything's just on, but we can go in there and tweak things. If you're savvy, you can go ahead and do that. Network protection is a very cool section. We have uh, network attack detection, so this is going to alert you that there's maybe a malicious computer or even if you have another computer that's that you own and it's infected with a network trojan and it's starting to send out attacks along the network to find other devices to infect, that's what you want network attack protection. It's gonna protect you from other devices on your network that you own from infecting you if that is compromised. 
botnet protection. This is just protecting your computer from not becoming a drone in someone else's attack. And then firewall. This is something that separates uh, regular antivirus programs from premium level products is firewall. This is basically saying um, there are rules to how you can talk to this computer. So for example, the most basic feature of a strong firewall is if I'm not soliciting the traffic, if I'm not asking for you to talk to my computer, you can't talk to me. So when I contact CNN.com with my browser, I am requesting that that computer send me the website of CNN.com so I can view it on my screen. Well, if I'm not contacting CNN.com, CNN.com does not have the permission to send me its website to my computer. That's what a firewall's basic function is. Now, this is a very hardened firewall and it's got some really nice settings built in. If you want, you can start adding rules. So if I want to add a firewall rule, I can just click down here and click add, and then I can choose the protocol, its function, allow, ask. Um, I can choose all the different features of it. So if you know a thing about firewalls, you can create your own custom rules. I usually like to block RDP, remote desktop protocol, because I'm not using that protocol to remote to my machines, and it's better just to block it. Um, you don't have to do that. It's just, that's just what I do. Uh, so if you're savvy, you have all the configurable tools here for you. And then it also can check out all the different features, but I'm not gonna go into that today. Like I said, you can actually leave it stock and you're perfectly fine. It just, it allows the more savvy user to go in and configure things the way they want it. Now we'll get out of setup and we'll go to the last part, which is tools. Now, this is all your freebies. These are just useful things. You can see all your running processes, kind of like a better version of task manager. Um, you can check your logs if you want to go into that. Network connections is nice. I can see all the things that are talking on my computer, what, what's communicating out on the internet. And then we have inspector, system cleaner. Basically, if you want to clear your temp files and junk and, and uh, all the things that Windows kind of leaves around. And then, but my favorite, is network inspector we covered this a little bit but not only can i see everything that's on the system and i mean see everything's on the network rather i can scan my network now mind you don't do this on a public network or a public wi-fi um, because it is going to test for vulnerabilities in your router to see if you know maybe your router is compromised it's going to see if there's compromised computers that are acting very very suspect like they might have been hacked it's going to scan the whole network and it's giving the warning right here well, if you do this on a public network with an enterprise level router, they likely have intrusion protection system. It might detect your computer as an intruder and block you. And you don't want to do that. So since I am on my own network, I don't, my network is going to alert on me. Um, so I can actually run this scan. I'm not going to because my router is, does have IPS and it's going to take this scan as an attack and block me from the internet. And we don't want that. So, but yeah, very cool. If you, if you want to check out your network, very useful, but yeah, everything about this highly recommend. Um, as far as the scanning power, if I go to computer scan, if you just scan your computer, it's going to scan all your drives, do a typical scan. And that's good enough. If you want to do an advanced scan, there's something interesting you might want to see. So a custom scan allows you to select different types of scans. By default, it's performing a smart scan, which is like a quick scan. It's gonna scan the most logical spots where an infection is going to occur. An in-depth scan is gonna scan practically everything. That's the one I use. And But what's really important here is that in a custom scan, you can enable the boot sectors and UEFI scan. Now, ESET's one of the only antivirus companies that actually acknowledges UEFI threats. They're um, infections on the motherboard. And boot sectors is hidden parts of, your, parts of your hard drive, which most scanners ignore or can't see. ESET not only is able to check these areas, but also is detecting threats there. It'll detect if something's wrong there, if there's some kind of infection, something suspicious there, and it'll alert you. Also, ESET's NOD32 scanner is looking for these types of threats. So if other antivirus companies don't even acknowledge they exist, obviously they're not going to detect them. So that's really important. It'll scan that. And the ability to scan these things is, is what makes it so powerful. Now, as far as how strong the detection engine is, it's very strong. Nod32's uh, technology has been legendary in the IT world for, for decades. And it always has really high percentages, but there's some YouTube channels which make really good content. I'm not dissing their content, but they perform some tests on products such as antivirus products 
where they run like 250 viruses one after another and see what percentage the scanner will detect. That's not really a realistic environment that ESET's taking seriously. Um, it's t it, it would do very well on those, but it might miss things because it's trying to be efficient with resources rather than acknowledging that there's all these threats and then just use up all your CPU and crash a system. It's not gonna do that. Now, what I really like about and why I trust the, tech, the, the technology and the protection is because the way they go about it. So they have a execution first type of mentality. It's gonna try to use all the layers of protection, such as the intrusion detection, firewall, and most importantly, live guard. It's going to, before it even executes on the system, it's sending it off to a sandbox for it to be tested there before it's even allowed to run in the system. It's gonna use the browser protection, the real-time file system protection, the, the HIPs, all the different features are trying to prevent viruses from ever being executed on the system rather than you know other types of antivirus companies which will wait till it's executed to see what it does on that computer and hopefully it stops it in time with layers of damage control after the fact. ESET tries to prevent it to where it never runs. And that's why I trust it because I've seen some of the best antivirus programs that have a post-execution mentality where they have all these things to, to minimize damage after the fact instead of preventing it from running on the system. And I've been burned by those. I've been infected. That was what inspired me to, to make videos about how to remove viruses because I was removing viruses from my system because I didn't have a security solution in place. I haven't had to remove a virus from my own system in over seven years. And the reason why I started making videos about ESET was ESET was the reason. And I'm not paid to say that. I'm not sponsored. This is just my opinion on it. And I'm very passionate about it. Woo, got a little heated there at the end. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this review helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can find links to these products as well as the latest coupons in the description. And I will see you next time.